All right, guys, welcome to the first inaugural episode of the originally titled The Prep. So this is essentially a vlog that Matt and I decided we wanted to put together to document our journey to the or potential journey as we'll get into to the, the 2021 WNBF stage. Hence the name The Prep. Very original. And <laughs> it's maybe something that we will continue doing if we do subsequent preps in the future, or maybe even document some of our clients as they go through their own prep journeys as well, potentially. So it's the start of that whole series. Now, um, Mal, intro a little bit about who you are, what your background is, why we're here. Sure. So uh, my name is Malin, if you don't know this already, and I'm Swedish. Um, this is Ross. He's my husband. <laughs> <laughs> and he's Scottish. I'm doing his intro as well. I appreciate um, it. So yeah, but we, um, yeah, we live in Dubai um, for the past nine years now. Um, yeah, I don't know what else there is to say. Swedish. So what was your background? What got you into the industry? Are you want to go that deep? Yeah, well, not too far. Just um, one yeah. minute elevator version. Yeah, sure. Okay. So in terms of getting into the industry, I mean, I've, I've trained myself probably for like over 15 years now. Um, I started training myself when I was maybe, I was probably about 16, maybe. So kind of mid teens. Um, and uh, I, I didn't do it because I wanted to lose weight or like anything like that. It was more like psychological for me. I was going through quite a rough stage um, break up with a boyfriend and a lot of pressures from like grades and school and stuff. So my mom actually suggested, why don't you join a gym um, and focus on that? And I was never someone who, who like my best friend at the time, this is not turning into a minute thing, by the way, but my, my best friend at the time, she um, was a, an athlete, like she was doing rowing. And I always used to think, I don't know how she goes to the gym. It seems so boring, terrible. I can never see myself doing something like that. But you know, I was going through this time and I felt like I needed something. I just needed to do something other than just study and be depressed. So I went to the gym and you know, I was never drawn to the cardio equipment. I just thought the machines looked a lot cooler. The instructor was pretty hot. So that was a distraction. So I got a few sessions with him. He showed me how to use the equipment. And uh, I just felt so much better almost right away. Like just going in, focusing on the training, physical rather than mental focus, uh, but it wasn't boring. Like I found cardio was quite boring. It was more challenging. So I did, didn't train long then because I, I graduated and then I spent a couple of years traveling, but I always remembered how good, good I felt from those like six months of training. And actually I noticed some changes as well physically really quickly. So but when I started my um, uh, university, that's when I, the first thing I did was checking out the gym and I was really consistent during my whole university time actually training. I mean, then it was like three, about three times a week. I didn't have really a set plan, but I just focused on my strength training, noticed rapid results in terms of the physical transformation, like in terms of just shaping up. Like I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know that even happened when you lifted weights. I was like, I was just like what the fuck? And I used to like, just love the changes that came from that. And I mean, this is starting from having like no muscle. And I was like, what is this? What's happening? So I really loved it. And it got me really hooked and it mentally as well. Like I was again going through a really rush, rough, rough phase in the gymnasium, like in university, sorry, with a lot of pressure. Uh, I was in a really rough relationship as well. <laughs> so yeah, it was kind of my lifeline. And that is then ultimately what led me to studying my qualifications in my uni, in my final uh, university year. I didn't know what I was going to do after university. It was a very academic degree, psychology, pharmacology. So I was like, okay, let's do something a bit more practical. I love the gym, so why not, for my own sake, at least do that. And then I'd have something that I could do, which is more professional. So that's what I did in my last year, my honors year in university. I also studied for my qualification and I uh, passed that. And then after university, I got a job as a fitness instructor. And um, yeah, and then just since then, it's just, it's history, I guess. Yeah. Um, that's, uh, that's how I got into it, I guess. And uh, from there on, yeah, Dubai really, yeah, just been studying, learning, working with more people. Um, and obviously met Ross as well after university, which which helped, you know. So, yeah. Yeah, I can I can bring up the speed a little bit on the general Dubai journey as well. But I'll uh, I'll give a bit of a not quite the one minute version like we were thought we were going to do. But I actually think it's better that we do that slightly longer story. In a nutshell, for me, I I've never actually really had any problems with my weight or anything like that. I've always been quite a, and as you like to call me, I'm always a very on person. I've been mad since I was a kid, always lots of energy, always wanted to get into things. Uh, I got into lots of different sports. I always remember my brother and I uh, literally would, would like consume energy or uh, like get rid of energy just by 
reenacting WWE wrestling and throwing each other off of walls and through tables and things like that. We we're always just active. We always wanted to be physically, you know, doing things. We got into golf, um, and then the sport that came after that for us was rugby, and that's kind of ignited a bit of a passion for us in terms of just this idea of performance and improvement and getting stronger. And, and that's the same for us. It never really came from an aesthetic point of view. It was much more about, right, well, I'm a 15, 16 year old guy now stepping up to play senior rugby, and I'm fed up with getting battered around by all these adults. I need to be more physical. Uh, and of course, the natural thing you did as a rugby player is you went to the gym and you tried to get tried to get bigger. So uh, that kind of ignited the passion for lifting the weights. And then, you know, I went to university. My degree was actually accounting and finance. Came out the other side of that and spent two very unfulfilled years trying to find jobs that I, I thought I could at least get into because I just certainly couldn't get into that chart of accounting. Um, and then, you know, I came across an advert one day. I was sitting at my desk as a recruitment consultant and came across this ad for become a personal trainer. And it's the, you know, the typical sell the dream, earn 35 plus K a year, da da da, and all that sort of stuff. And I thought, you know what, that's a crock of shit anyway. But you know what, I actually have nothing else right now. And I just want to maybe chase a passion instead of these unfulfilled jobs that I'm doing at the moment. So then literally within about three months of seeing that advert, I had qualified, got my level three PT. And within two weeks of getting that, I was in a gym in the East End of Glasgow to start to do PT. And, you know, that was a bit of a whirlwind kind of year and a half. Met Mal during that time as well. And then, you know, literally within, I think, us knowing each other for about five or six months, uh, moved out to Dubai. And, you know, as Mal would say, the rest is, is history. And, you know, over those years, we've kind of tried to, you know, build our, our knowledge base, our skills. We've kind of developed quite a lot as people, I would say, it's probably fair to say that as well over those kind of last nine years. Um, and then I guess we, you know, we both always were interested in body composition, but we had slightly different interests. Like I did CrossFit for a long time, um, did like competitive CrossFit for about four or five years, competing in different competitions, and then kind of fell out of love with that side of things and just got into doing like a little bit of weightlifting. And then I found myself getting drawn because we wanted to do a photo shoot, right? And I got myself drawn towards doing more of the aesthetic and more of like bodybuilding style training. And, um, and well, that's- you came into that much later than me because I'd already done a competition. I'd done a couple of photo shoot preps. So, yeah, and I came up really early. We did a photo shoot together where I was actually still doing CrossFit, but I was just kind of walking around fairly lean. So we kind of did a bit of a photo shoot. And then uh, we, we met our, our good friend, Nathan Johnson, when we were kind of a bit of an in-between place. And this was before I joined that myself in gym and then left there and Better Body Collective was founded in May 2019. But there was a year in there where I actually worked at another place and it was through a friend. But the, the friend we met, Nathan, we uh, we bumped into him down at the gym that we were both PTing out all at the time in JBR. and. Um, you know, we, we kind of spoke to him and then we were like, actually, we'd really like to do a, you know, a photo shoot. And that was kind of like the start, at least for me, mm-hmm. of really just getting dialed into body composition specific training for myself. I'd always done a lot of that with clients, but never really fully focused on myself. And that's where I got the bug. Um, so we did that photo shoot and it was a fairly decent photo shoot with Paul Aiken. Uh, we did that together and that kind of ignited the fire really. And uh, post that event, I kind of then felt like I've got a taste of this now. I want to do a little bit more of this stuff. And I was having a bit to think about who would be a great coach. And we, we thought of a couple of people, our good friend Dan Smith. But we eventually arrived at um, hearing lots of really good things about our current coach who has been coaching me for over two years now, now for over a year, uh, Callum Rystrick of the Muscle Mentors. And so we, um, yeah, we decided to, you know, I, I decided I was like, well, you know what, I'm going to work with Cal. Just I want to work with someone so I can upskill in this area. And at the time, there was no intention of doing a competition or anything like that. I just wanted to get better and know more about the whole realm of body composition. But after Cal and I went through our first fat loss phase together, and he quoted, and I kid you not, I always remember this, tidy up phase, and I literally got the leanest I'd ever got. I mean, really, really lean, probably about five, six weeks out from stage condition, right? And I, I just was like, I just, the process was just so, I was like, I really like that process. I mean, it was hard, but there's just something quite, like when you're in it, it, there's nothing like it. You're just so dialed in on everything. So after that, um, you know, after we reversed dieted back up, I realized I was like, no, actually, I'd really like to compete. And so Cal and I spoke, and I think he decided, and then I was like, listen, you're going to have to prep for this prep. So you're going to have to take your time. You're going to have to really put in a number of phases of going up in food, getting conditioned back again, going up in food, conditioned back. So we've done that a few times now. And I would say we probably spent way more time in the building component, the fat loss component, since that initial tidy up phase um and so we got to a point where it was kind of getting close like your COVID hit 
and you know talking about yourself now right yeah you're still talking about still talking yeah, yeah so i mean when covid hit and we were just like okay well we know it's not going to happen within 2020 so we just kind of continued the whole workouts and just kept afloat as best we could but of course dubai very luckily compared to a lot of the rest of the world our gyms opened a lot earlier so we were able to really get some headway back into both working on our body composition goals and um you know when uh, we spoke to you know our, our coach charlie he was uh, in the process of setting up the wmbf for the ue and you know there's obviously a lot of different affiliates for the wmbf across the world germany us all these different places but nothing in the ue for natural bodybuilding and so you know charlie said like you you know we're, we're going to launch this competition it's going to be in 2021 you should think about doing it and that was kind of then went right i'm going to pick that and that's what i do now do you want me to explain to them um, what happened my, with you in terms of what my process you down this? Well, yeah okay so Obviously, I had I already competed. I competed in the W BFF. BFF. I can't yeah. remember <laughs> fitness category, and like I love the process as well. Um, didn't quite enjoy the stage element. <laughs> um, I'm quite shy, quite introverted, so yeah. don't like heels. It was quite you know it wasn't something that I wanted to do it. I wanted to experience it, but it wasn't something that I thought okay, I'm going to definitely redo this. But I did like the process of dieting and the process of having a goal and, you know, and I'm already training very consistently. And when you've been training for you know, 15, 20 years consistently, having these little mini goals, these little mini challenges, you know, that they make all the difference. Right. So that's why I've set myself since then, you know, a few photo shoot prep goals. But then I would always worked with a coach when I dieted, some really good coaches, Dan Smith from M10, Nathan Johnson, obviously, who's brilliant as well. So I'd always learned things and about my body work with different coaches, but it's always, always been a short phase. And obviously Callum I was aware of him. He had already been working with Ross for a year. And I think like literally for probably almost the most part of that year, I was like, okay, I'm going to start with him, but I just <laughs> don't feel ready. Like, cause I knew that if I started working with Callum, it wouldn't be, Hey, we're going to start. We're going to do a diet in 16 weeks. I knew that if I started with Callum, it would be a long term thing. I didn't exactly go in starting with, I'm going to compete or, yeah, I knew I was going to do a diet with him, but I knew there's going to be more to this process. So, you know, getting to a good place, food, but for me, it's always been a challenge to eat enough to build muscle. Of course, I've built muscle over the years, but I've never gone through a phase really optimizing it and building muscle in a really like training, like matching nutrition training really smartly for a long enough time. So, but I knew this was something that Cal would do. So hence why I decided I'm going to sign up with you didn't think at all about doing any competitions. And then obviously Ross decided to do the this competition. And I, I mentioned to Cal that potentially <laughs> this is something that I could do. And the next check-in, he was like, right, competition. <laughs> I was like, whoa, okay. But that then escalated that fast. escalated quickly because obviously he's prepped hundreds of people. And you know, this is he, this is one of the things that he does really well. So you know and then i was like I've, since the, I, i'm gonna be honest like i i know i'm we're, we're i'm dieting now we've just started this is why we're doing this show to share that process um i ha, i'm gonna do something i haven't 100 percent decided on the stage yet so this is something that i guess if you follow listening um my decision making process i'm yeah i'm i'm there but i'm not 100 percent there but you know i'm gonna do a photo shoot for sure and uh, the stage it's um i need a little bit more time but yeah, because it, it's a big decision. It's taking your body to a place which is really fucking difficult. Like it's one thing getting lean; it's another thing getting stage lean. You know, so yeah, that's not. Uh, I know I can do it. I've done it before, but it's again, as I said, not something that I plan to do again. But you know, it's yeah. So that would be probably part of worth touching on. It's, it's not inherently healthy to get yourself to that level of lean, and, and you know, you are kind of putting yourself, your body, in that physiologically quite vulnerable place but that you kind of know going in that that's part of the part of the deal um, and it's going to be really difficult this time it's also figure for me so in terms of categories is that something we're going to talk about right yeah that's it you um, literally, literally segued really well into it so we're going to talk about about the competition itself what is it where is it and what categories are we actually going to compete in yeah so for me like if i'm going to do like they don't for females they only have bikini and figure they don't have anything in between like a fitness type category which would be bikini obviously you know there's differences in what the expectations are or the conditions are going to be for the different categories so for bikini you're going to be you know not too muscular you're going to be lean but not kind of super lean and bikini just isn't something that attracts me at all plus i am i have too big 
pots to do bikini. <laughs> so right. I probably right. have too much muscle to do that. Second and five C's. Uh, so, you know, for me, that only leaves figure and figure is a kind of big, it's a big, it's a step up from the fitness diva category that I did in um, with WBFF. Uh, you need to be, you know, obviously have a decent amount of mass on you. And on top of that, you need to be really freaking lean. So the condition needs to be on point. Um, so those are the two categories that I have to choose from. Um, whereas for you, you have a few more categories, you have three ca categories for guys. Yeah, there's a bit well. more, but uh, I got pigeonholed into the category I was going to do quite early on. Um, so I'm actually going to compete in the men's physique now. I think when I first set out in this, I always said, no, it's a challenge to myself that I want to get my legs to a point where I can do natural bodybuilding. And to be fair, I mean, both Cal and Charlie have said that you know, I could technically do it, but I just wouldn't be as competitive. And it's probably- So what's the difference between men's physique and bodybuilding then? Yeah, so I mean, essentially with men's physique, it's, um, you know, you're not showing off your legs. You can be wearing board shorts, essentially. So it's a much more what they consider like kind of like a classic look, so to speak. You're just not showcasing the legs as much so it's much more that kind of beach aesthetic the kind of really narrow waist the wide shoulders and lats and all that sort of stuff and of course you still have to be very very lean but it's just not quite as much muscle bulk overall as the the bodybuilding category uh, where you need to literally bulk pretty much top to bottom um, and i actually agree i think it's a good decision because i feel like my lower half has always been the thing that I think because most of my background was always like rugby, crossfit, performance based. So I never really put the emphasis into hypertrophy of legs. It was always about strength and performance. The upper body naturally is always hypertrophy well, regardless of probably genetic as well. It's a lot of genetics to <laughs> me. I think even when I did the crossfit, my upper body went both when I do rugby, it was the same. That the training for that as well, a lot of power and strength work. So I think um I need more time for that. So I, I also most guys who even if they do have the right proportions to do bodybuilding often many will start in men's physique because it gives you an opportunity to just practice that initial presentation and posing in the flow and it's just a great entry point into doing competitive physique sports so uh, i thought you know what definitely it's a good start and you know if it all goes well you know could win win the pro well, i think when first place you get an opportunity to go to worlds to win your pro card so which is in las vegas i believe the world's uh, following this competition yeah, I don't know really. I think it's in different places. I'm right? following it. So it's Las yeah. Vegas this time yeah. around, so I'd have to go to the US. So so yeah, mm -hmm. um, so that's what I'm gonna be competing in. So I'm men's physique, Miles gonna be figure potentially. Um and where is it? Well, it's gonna be right here in Dubai, and that was also something that was quite attractive to us. Obviously, with everything going on in the world right now, travel being very restrictive and uh, a lot of just yeah, just a lot of logistics to potentially manage if we were gonna go anywhere else to do it. So I think the fact that it's going to be hosted right here in Dubai, it's literally a 10 minute drive down the road. Um, it just it just was perfect, perfect for a first competition for me and potentially a second competition for you maybe. So um, when it is, surprise. exactly right, we'll see, we'll find out. Hopefully, I'm hoping, because it would be pretty cool if we both did that together, both up on stage the same day and things like that, that'd be awesome, that'd be cool. If you're not happy, if I haven't killed each other in the process. That's something we can say for another episode. We've had a lot of mixed, um, I guess thoughts, responses, responses from people to doing this together. So, but we can leave that for next time. Yeah, I think the immediate thing people think as a married couple is you're going to kill each other. But I don't know. I think we have different thoughts on it. But we'll leave that for another episode. So, when is it? Uh, well, really, it's September 10th, uh, 2021. We're now currently at, as the date on my phone suggests, now it's the 10th of April. So, we are in our second week of prep already. And a lot of people are like, wow, that's like a long time away. Well. Part of the approach, which we'll, we'll get into in more detail in next week's episode, but um, long story short, is Cal wants us to essentially get in condition ahead of time so that we're in a position where, right, if we need to push a bit longer, we have the time to do that if we need to bring up condition. Um, but at the same time, ideally, wants us to be ready early so that we can actually eat up into the show because I think what a lot of competitors do is they just completely drain and deplete themselves all the way up to stage. They might then attempt some form of carb or fat loading and then they step on stage and they're just like, like zombies, right? Whereas Cal, from all of his you know, experience from working with the, like you said, tens and even hundreds of physique competitors, um, he's just found that getting ready early and having time to manipulate the, the carbon fat variables and actually bring your you know, muscular fullness up leading into the show as well as your overall energy and stuff, uh, just he finds that that seems to work a lot better. So that's kind of the time frame why we're getting started so early is uh, it's a very measured approach. But I think just to touch on again, even though the prep has been like measured and we're giving ourselves plenty of time and Cal's given us plenty of time, this is something that has been considered and thought out over the last like year, year and a half. So I think that's probably a message we want to ideally get across throughout this entire process is that, you know, this isn't their, you know, like some of your, maybe your prep competitors who will then kind of go and, you know, just 
tons of activity from the get-go and they're very much just run themselves into the ground to get in the best condition to get on stage. This is why we're doing this so that we can talk everyone through the process of doing it smartly. Yeah, That's hopefully it. it'll be a bit more of a cerebral, intelligent approach, so to speak. Yes. What are we calling this again? The plan? <laughs> the prep? The prep. So was <laughs> the prep. So yeah, an intelligent prep like that. So I guess what we're going to be covering in the coming episodes, well, that we just wanted to use this week's episode as a bit of an intro to us, to why we're doing it, to when, what it is. Uh, but in the coming episodes, really what this blog is going to be all about is it's going to be about documenting training, nutrition, um, you know, behind the scenes, a bit about things like our habits, like meal prep, sleep, all the stuff that goes into this going well, stress management. Uh, we'll get insight into obviously our training setups, our nutrition setups, any adjustments and tweaks that are going to be made. And we'll kind of be documenting that really across the whole way as well, as of course taking some footage of us training in the gym, um, updating in our physique progress across the way and stuff as well. So, yeah. Of course, if you're not already, follow us on Instagram because we will be sharing stuff there as well throughout as well, of course. I'm so kind of sad. You know, I've already started posting a lot more, 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 more about what I'm eating. Oh, um, little furry guy wants to say know, hi. In terms of how my strategy has changed as well, that's something that we can get into more as well in terms of the strategy during the, the building phase and the bulking phase versus now. Lots to cover, isn't Alenco, it? Alenco. Say hi to YouTube. Are you hungry? Do you want your dinner? Hmm? My baby. Loves it. Loves it. It. So what's <laughs> so what's coming up in next week's episode? Well, next week we're actually going to cover because we're like we mentioned, we're already kind of a couple of weeks into prep. We're going to use next week's episode to talk a little bit about where did, where was our starting point? What were the initial calories, macros? What was the initial what was our training split looking like? Um, and then yeah, and then we'll kind of talk a little bit about where things may be heading from there. Cool guys, for this is episode one of the prep. So until next week, over and out. <laughs>